Hello, welcome to Baldy Tim's Reviews. Now, I'm back in the Citroen Berlingo and I had a request from one of my viewers on how exactly to take out the rear seats. Now, as you probably know, especially if you've seen my previous videos on this vehicle, you can either A, fold the rear seats up kind of up against the front seats and that gives you a lot of room but for maximum room the beauty of these vehicles is that you can actually take the rear seats out all together which is fairly simple but it's a bit of a faff and there's a couple of things you need to know so hopefully I can explain that in this video so without any further ado let's get on and see if we can get these rear seats I'm currently sitting on out. So a couple of things to do before getting the rear seats out here is we'll move the front seats forward a bit because before you get the rear seats out you actually have to sort of flip them all forward and it'll just give you a bit more room if you pull the front seats up and out the way. So I'll do that first of all. So obviously you've got your uh, bar there to pull up and we'll pull that forward just a little bit. And the second thing we'll do is we'll get rid of the parcel shelf. So it just pushes up over like that and then lifts, well, I'll pull it back and then it will lift out. And that's just a bit of prep to get us ready to get these back seats out. So what I suggest is that you get the smaller of the seats out, the 40 split before doing the 60 one. Uh, the 40 is actually on the driver's side, here in the UK at least. And obviously you sort of, first of all, push the little button there to flip the back down, like so. And then the next thing you need to do is there's a little lever just down here where my hand is. So that's that's what I'm talking about there. So you just push it up and I'll go back and do it because I've also got to flip the seat up at the same time. So let's go and do that. Okay, so what we'll do is pull that little lever that I've just shown you. So lifting it up and pushing the seat up into its upright position. So what we'll do now do is the same procedure with this one, the 60 split. So we're going to tackle the 60 split part of the seat. So again, you press the little button there to flip the back down, like so. And again, this one's got a lever at the back under here. I'll just go around the back and show that to you. Unfortunately, they do it on the inboard side um, it'd be easier if it was there nearest to the door but uh, from a reach point of view but it's over this side and again you pre push that bar up but again I'll go and do that from the side door position so now we have both parts of the seat in their folded up position. And to be honest with you, you might actually find, even though you perhaps are thinking you have to take the seat out, seats out in the first place, you might actually find that you've got enough room just by doing that. So it's kind of worth considering seeing if you can get away with just getting the seats into this position uh, and saving the old back because the next bit of the story is a little bit hard on the back. Uh, but I, if you're watching this video, probably most likely you do actually need to take them out. Because as you can see, as soon as we, as we take them out, instead of only having room from the back up to there, you're going to have it all the way up to there, back of the front seat, which is you know, a good 18 inches more. So what we're going to do is get these out. And again, I'm going to start with the far one, the little one. And it's that's obviously the easiest one because it's the smallest, lightest one. 
So we're now ready to get the little one out. So what we do is you have to kind of do a lifting motion, but if you try and lift it when it's fully back like that, it won't come out. So you've got to sort of get it back to a certain stage where it will suddenly release. So what I do is just kind of pull it up and lean it back until you feel it release and there it goes. So you're now ready just to pull it out like so. So you're going to start off with it in its fully upright position but you can't just pull it up and out like that. You've got to start leaning it back and it's about that position where it releases but it's not really kind of clear what the position is so I'm pull exerting upwards pressure, pulling up, leaning back, leaning back, oh, and there it is. And that, that is the easiest way to get it out. It's time to tackle the big one here, and it's exactly the same procedure, but because it's quite a lot bigger and heavier uh, than the little one, it's more awkward and if you can get two people to do it uh, that's probably going to be your best option just one on either end at least you've got the two sliding doors either either way and one person can kind of get on the other end of it fortunately uh, I'm on my own doing this but luckily I'm quite big and strong so I can do this on my own but I actually sort of get in the vehicle and stand behind here and kind of then I can sort of take it out through the back door so what I do is so that's fully upright so I try and uh, take it out there but sort of exerting upward pressure lean it back lean it back lean it back and up it comes there you go and then straight out with it so let's just show you I'm it's these things that actually have to re release out of these holes here but I'll just kind of show it to you so that's again located and fully upright so you can't take it out like that so standing here standing here pulling upwards and leaning back at the same time until you get to that release point and out it comes and then once you've got the thing out of the holes in the floor as it were you can either take it out uh, of the side door or if it's easier for you and you've got not, obviously nothing in the back of the vehicle straight out through the back door there whatever's easiest for you really so what I'll do now is I'll just show you how to put them back into place because that could be slightly tricky but not as tricky as taking them out so when you put in the seats back in what you have to do is actually locate that bit into the hole here between these two circular bar things and it's quite tricky because there's three of them on the uh, 60 split part of the seat the larger one so there's one two and three and obviously three holes for them to go into so i will try and show you that so let us see if we can drop this uh seat back into place now so again it's going to be a lot easier if there's two of you to handle this thing but what you do is offer it up into place and then you drop the kind of tongue bit if for want of a better word into the hole and then what you do is you sort of lean it back the seat back and then it will just drop into place there it goes so you kind of when you're dropping it into place just take that out again just to show you when you're sort of dropping it into place it's fairly upright 
and you have to make sure all three of them line up and go in. So these, so that's, oh, there we go. And it will, once you've got the, the tongues lined up with the holes on all three points, it will then kind of just drop into place fairly easily. I mean, if you have any difficulty, you might just have to lift it out and try again. But that is basically what you do. So just show you one more time. So coming in with it, again, two people would be a lot easier. Line up one, two, three. Just kind of trying to show you that lined up. You can see that one just about to drop in there. That one is nearly in, but not quite. But it's kind of lined up. So once you're at that point, normally just a bit of wiggling around and in it drops. And once it's dropped in, it might be a good idea just to get it upright and pull it up, just to make sure it's fully home and not gonna come out in any way. But so I'm quite confident that that's fully in place. So now we've got the big one in place, we'll do it with the small one as well, the 40 split seat, which as it's a lot smaller and lighter, will be considerably easier. And it's also easier because you've only got two uh, holes and two sort of bits of metal to line up. So hopefully you can see that lining up and going in. And so we'll just wiggle it around and in it drops. And again, pull it up. Yeah, definitely in place. And then once you're at that point, all it's a question of doing is just dropping the seats back down into position. So drop that down and let it click into place. Give it a tug up. Oh, right, just as well I did that because it hadn't fully gone in home. So let, you might just have to drop it push it with a bit of force yeah pull it up again and that time it's in place and and put the seat the backs of the seat back as well again let that click into place push it forward yeah that's fully in place and safe again and same with the big one just pull it down let it click into place tug up just to make sure it's fully home pull that back let that click into place the button's actually down there and you also know it's locked into place when that pops up like so that's come up come up flush and give it a push forward yep it's fully home and you're now ready to use it as an estate car with the back seats again so that was just a quick demo on how to get the back seats completely out. It's probably one of the slightly trickier operations on, that you have to perform on this highly, highly versatile vehicle. But especially if you can get two of you, it's a relatively quick, simple and easy operation to both get them in and get them out certainly a lot easier than having to sort of fiddle around with nuts and bolts and spanners and all that kind of thing so it's just but there is a bit of a knack to it hopefully this video has shown that so it's been baldy tim's reviews thanks for watching